is it? Hi, Professor. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Vera, thank heavens you're back. Yes, I'm back. And I have a number of questions for you. Vera, there's no time for questions. All of my experimental mice have escaped. If they chew on the cables, they'll cut the power to the lab, and something horrible will happen. Worse than horrible. What will happen? The collapse of time and space. Relax, Professor. Mice are not a problem. We'll find all the mice, but then we're going to have a serious conversation.
Okay, Professor. I caught all the mice. Oh, thank you, Vera. Now tell me, are you okay? Absolutely not. My wedding is in two days, my fiancé stole some dinosaur eggs from the Jurassic period, and now I've got to travel to different times in history with the use of a mobile phone to find these eggs. I'm definitely not okay. Perhaps you could explain this to me. Well, I don't understand it myself. Tom and I built a time machine. We had to test it, so Tom went to the future and disappeared. And then the phone came back here by itself. And then you showed up here looking for Tom, took the time machine, and disappeared. That's all I know. And what time did Tom go to the first time? One hundred million years into the future. Good heavens! Why did he go that far into the future? He needed to find out what the atmosphere consisted of one hundred million years from now for his dissertation. You scientists are crazy. By the way, does this look familiar? Hey, the death of Socrates. It's your painting? My wife gave it to me for my 40th birthday. Oh, my Gretchen. Oh, my head is spinning. I need my pills. What pills? Where are they? They are for my condition. I'm losing consciousness. Ugh. Great. I need this like I need a hole in my head. Einbach, it looks like he passed out. Thank you, Vera. The pills helped me forget about my wife. What happened to her? She loved canoeing, and then one fine day she paddled off and never came back. And every time I think about her, I pass out. You know, Professor, I don't know if Tom told you, but I'm a professional psychoanalyst and I think I can help you. Really? How? It looks like you're being tormented by acute autophobia, the fear of being left alone. You need to get over this. Yes, but everyone experiences loneliness. True, but not everyone passes out as a result. Now look deeply into my eyes and relax. I will hypnotize you and make everything better.
I'm not dead, dear. I'm alive and I'll return to you soon. She's alive. Now that's an interesting development. Well, while I'm here, I might as well get rid of some of the junk here. I saw my wife, and she told me that she's still alive and would be coming back to me. Okay, now how do you feel? Much better, thank you. And now I have hope. You're welcome. I'm happy to help you. Now, I'm going to go a hundred million years into the future to see if I can find out what happened to Tom. I'm going with you. It's all my fault. After all, I designed this damn machine. Can the time machine transport two people? Grab my hand and hold on tight. That way, the time machine will identify us as one object. Okay, I'm dialing. Connecting to 100 million, 2008 AD.